Anchor Prime 250W Power Bank Review, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, Is It Really Worth It? In this in-depth review, we take a close look at the Anchor Prime $250 Power Bank to find out if it lives up to the hype. This portable powerhouse promises to keep your devices charged on the go, but does it really deliver? We'll cover the good, the bad, and the ugly to help you decide if it's truly worth your investment. We'll talk about its features, performance, build quality, and real-world usage scenarios. Whether you're a tech enthusiast or just need a reliable backup for your devices, this review is for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech reviews. Hey folks, we have an interesting telephone. This is the second one. Anchor. Device. Now, this is on sale. This is the one that uh, allows you to put the app on. You can monitor it. It has 27 million, uh, 250 watts. Uh, and it also comes with the charging base. Now, this is on, currently on sale at Amazon for like $168. The device by itself is normally two something, and the charger is normally $89. So we're talking closer to $300. It's almost a half price. And 100 watts fast wireless charging. Okay. Let's take a quick look at okay, this. See if we can get into this box without it being too painful. Ah. They made it idiot proof. Okay. Yes, come on, oh baby boy. <clears throat> now, this thing got a little weight to it. Let's get tilted down a little bit so you can see. That's a little weight to it. I love this, whatever pipe, type of pepper it is, it's really soft. Wow, this thing is big. But I'm surprised it doesn't have that little strip on it that protects the screen from doing shipping but it apparently it was in this original package so let's see what we have here we have a type c cable a little handy dandy bag and i really thought this was a typo because i really couldn't I, I really was surprised this is almost 50 percent off this is the charging base See now, see this one has the little plastic on it, a uh, little plastic film. Why it wasn't on the power brick, I have no idea. Uh, this by itself <coughs> is almost is almost <coughs> excuse me is ninety bucks. This is and this is like. Charging the power connector for it. Let's see what's else in there. We have a couple of instruction manuals for both the uh, charging base and for the power bank. What is this? And of course, their support. Boom, boom, boom. Let's just take a quick look at the, uh, and of course, this, you can actually install the software uh, so that you can monitor it. Interesting. Let's see what this. Ah, come on. What a love of chicken grease. You know, I'm starting to learn that this, they're making this more and more adult proof. Or, in my case, it could be idiot proof. <laughs> Let's just say, plug this in. 
That is the base. Now, just in case you missed that, it flashes. Now, to turn on this base, and it is currently charged at 53. Now, according to this, oh, it's magnetic. Oh, look at that. It's fairly strong. And so on here, so let's see what's on here. 53%. It has an auto screen timeout so when you want the screen to shut off. Uh, brightness. And hit twice to enable Bluetooth. So, I'm going to take this. I'm going to play with it. And then I'm going to come back and give you my final review on it. I'm going to check text the ports. Uh, this is IQ2. Uh, and then you have two in and out. It has a nice little piece of weight to it. And I'm going to install the software to give you an idea what it looks like. And then I'll be back to give you the final review of this. See you soon. Is the Anchor Prime 250W power bank really worth it? Yes, but only if you can get it for around $164. Here's why. Pros, compact design. Despite its power, it's surprisingly portable and easy to carry. Good performance. It delivers reliable performance for charging multiple devices. Fast charging. It can quickly charge your devices, saving you valuable time. Power monitoring, the Anchor app lets you monitor power usage in real time, which is a nice touch for managing your energy consumption. 100W fast recharging. Using a 100W charger allows you to recharge the power bank quickly, which is a must-have feature for heavy users. Magnetic charging base. The magnetic base makes it incredibly easy to connect the charger and it stays securely in place. Cons. No power bank charging. You can't charge another power bank with this one, which limits its flexibility. Sleep mode. It goes into sleep mode automatically, and there's no way to prevent this. It also disables the Bluetooth feature, meaning you have to manually turn it back on. Large and bulky, it's on the heavier side, which could be inconvenient for some users. No simultaneous charging. You can't charge the Anchor power bank and use it to charge your devices at the same time. It only does one or the other. In short, if you can find it for $164 or less, it's a solid investment, especially if you need fast, portable power for your devices. However, its bulkiness and lack of certain features may be a drawback for some users.